Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. Um, you'll know it's your reading if you can resonate with the messages, if you can connect with the messages. If the messages aren't resonating, that's okay. It just means that it might not be a reading. Don't try and force fit it, just let things flow. For those of you interested in the personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email address is going to be listed below the video. the bottom of the deck is the temperance card we've got a lot of major arcana cards and major arcana cards are quite powerful they bring in some very powerful messages on their own and we've got a fair few of them with the exception of the ace of cups and the four of pentacles it does feel like you have connected with someone very special or you are about to connect with someone very special You've got both the um, Empress and the Emperor energy here. So you could be showing up as either the Empress or the Emperor. This is someone who... I feel like this is someone whom you will connect with or have connected with very organically, very naturally. These two energies uh, symbolize the feminine and the masculine uh, coming together, joining together. <sighs> this connection is going to be, or this connection is, um, very intense because this connection itself feels like it's a deep dive. It's a deep dive into the depths of your emotions, into the depths of your subconscious. This I feel like this connection has is very special but is but it's also very significant. It honestly feels like this person is a symbol of unconditional love and unconditional support. And it depends on whether you're showing up as the empress or the emperor energy here. The empress is a nurturing person. She is an embodiment of creativity, abundance. She's a feminine energy. She's nurturing. She's caring. She's providing. She is, she's a mother figure. Okay. She is the foundation of support, um, of love. She is warm care. If you are the empress, okay, if you resonate with the empress energy, she wants you to connect with your inner self and appreciate your inner beauty and appreciate the beauty of the world around you as well. If the empress represents the energy of the person that you are, have connected with or are going to connect with, then this person has a very loving, warm nature, um, a very... A very uh, warm energy to them and this person like the energy is bringing a lot of growth and a lot of stability into this connection if on the other hand you resonate as the Emperor this is masculine energy it represents power leadership authority um, he's a ruler okay 
his stability he's all about stability he's all about strength focusing on your goals focusing on discipline okay whether you resonate with the emperor or whether this is the energy of your person coming in um if you resonate with the emperor energy he's calling you to have control and take control of a particular situation in your life um perhaps or more specifically in the areas of love and romance. He could, he could also be asking you to embrace your inner leader, okay, your inner ruler, uh, and create stability around yourself. If this is the energy of the person that you have attracted or are attracting, then this is someone who is very disciplined, who is very, uh, who has a lot of stability, someone who's very resilient, someone who's very strong. There is a balance between, this feels like it's yin and yang, and this feels like there is a, uh, a very delicate balance between feminine and uh, masculine energies, and those two energies coming together and joining forces. Um, the person that you have attracted, or the person you have connected to, or are going to connect uh, with, because for some of you this person hasn't yet shown up in your life, but they are really going to complement your energy. They're going to complement um, your life, like your skills. I feel like they're going to be... They're going to bring a lot of balance and a lot of harmony, a lot of peace into your life. This is a very strong and a very nurturing and a very loving relationship. This is a very special relationship. We mentioned earlier that this relationship is going to allow you to take a deep dive into your emotions, into the emotional realms. And it's going to ask you, okay, this relationship is going to ask you to embrace the feminine and the masculine qualities that you, you know, that you possess within yourself. Um, And it's also going to, at times, it's going to push you to into discomfort because that's where you're going to grow. The combination of the Emperor and the Empress together showing up like that is no coincidence. Um, it's no accident, okay? It is actually very powerful, especially in a love reading. And the fact that you have... The fact that you have a lot of major arcana cards as well. I feel like the reading, the cards here are foretelling of good fortune, are foretelling of uh, abundance, prosperity, beauty, power, all of these wonderful things that are coming into your life and that you're attracting into your life. I feel like you're going to be very blessed not only within this relationship and with this person, um, but I think in different areas of your life. I feel like there is abundance and an, a very creative kind of energy. Because the Empress, she represents, uh, and she's an, an embodiment of creativity, right? You're going to be very creatively inspired. Maybe you're going to be inspired to start a new life. Maybe you're going to be inspired to connect with, you know, those... Uh, feminine and masculine qualities within yourself maybe you're going to be inspired to take it uh, to start your healing journey um, maybe you're going to be inspired to take on new beginnings or to learn something new or to put yourself in new situations and perhaps that's how you might meet this person I feel like it's this creative energy that is going to allow you to um, start this relationship allow you to fully embrace this relationship and also these wonderful things that I feel like are coming into your life. It feels like your cup is about to be blessed and it's about to be filled. And it does feel like the person that I'm connecting to, it does feel like you deserve it. At the bottom of the uh, deck, you had the temperance. Temperance is also 
um, is also bringing in a powerful message of balance. And there's such an alchemy to not only the card itself, but to the combination of the cards here. Balance is a good word because, you know, we've got the balance of um, the divine and the masculine qualities. We've got, you know, we've, we've also got the balance in temperance as well. Notice how he's got one foot in the water and the other one on the ground. This might be a strong, uh, a very strong indicator that you might need to create a, some sort of balance or bring back a balance, restore balance into your life. It might help with this relationship or it might even help attract this relationship. You do have the Four of Pentacles here. And the Four of Pentacles is, I feel like it's a very fearful kind of energy with the Four of Pentacles. It's about, notice the way that he's holding those pentacles, right? He's scared to let go. Because it's an energy that I feel like is filled with fear, like a possessiveness, um, a jealousy, right? And because it's placed below the star card, I feel like if you are, if you have already connected with this person, or even if you're about to um, meet this person, then I feel like the relationship, you might need to let go of some past wounds so that the relationship can move forward without being hindered by past wounds or past hurts. Be careful. If you haven't attracted this person into your life yet, the reason could be that you are holding on to the past. You might be holding on to the idea of someone coming back from your past or the, or the idea of recreating a past situation. Um, but much like the little buddy in the picture here, he's holding on too tight to his possessions. And because he's holding on so tightly, he's not able to move forward. There's, there's this energy that you have, that you, maybe you've turned into not a greedy person and not a possessive person. I don't think it's that. Uh, you could be possessive over the past. But it's turned you into a person who is scared of, you're scared of letting go is what I'm picking up. You're scared of letting go. You're scared of trusting new beginnings. Um, you know what also I get? Because he's holding the pentacle, the coin here, um, I feel like there's, you, you might be scared of taking risks, not, you know, scared of taking a gamble. So even that. Even when this new energy shows up in your life, or if you already know this person and they have shown up in your life, you're scared to take the risk with them. You're scared to take that leap of faith. You're scared to take a gamble on this because you don't know if it's going to work out. And I'm going to say you are correct. You are correct in the sense that, no, you do not know if it's going to work out. Nobody knows. Not even the cards know. You don't know if it's going to work out because there are no guarantees. But you also don't know if it's going to work out. So this energy of fear could be the very thing that's holding you back from what could be the most loving, the most beautiful, the most um, supportive relationship you've ever had. And it's holding on to this past wounds it's this very energy that might potentially hinder either you moving forward in this relationship or attracting this person. Temperance is also asking you to be patient. Be patient with where you are. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with this connection. Um, be patient if you haven't met this person yet, if they haven't shown up in your life yet. Patience is a virtue and it's a very, very powerful thing because patience can attract.
attract happiness. It can attract abundance. It can attract manifestations. It can attract love and wealth. Um, learning patience can be a very a very tricky thing, a very tricky experience. But I do think that there is a message that someone has to hear. And that is everything comes to you at the right time. Be patient. If it hasn't arrived yet, it just might not be the right time. If for some of you, you just feel like some things are not clear right away, that's when you need to be patient. That's where you need to persevere and just see where things are going. This could also be a reminder that you need to be patient in this relationship. Okay, and you need to allow this relationship to take its time. And just let things unfold naturally. You will achieve much more this way rather than trying to force anything. Because this is the Ace of Cups is new emotions, right? New feelings, new emotions, like new emotions. It's almost like you've had these emotions bottled up inside of you. And along comes this person and, you know, you all of a sudden unbottle all of these emotions and... I think that what this is, is to the person that I'm connecting to, you have a lot of love to give inside of you. You have, you, and you've always had a lot of love to give. It, it feels like you have a very kind, generous, a very gentle spirit, a very gentle energy to you. And sometimes there have been people in your life who have taken advantage of this quality, who have taken advantage of your energy. Um, and you recognize that. But, um, and I think... Maybe in more recent times you have tried to protect your energy because you have been taken advantage of. Um, and now along comes this person who does deserve all this, you know, all this love and all this kindness that you have to offer. I know in the past you have flowed your love to the wrong people, to the wrong persons. But this person does feel like they're truly deserving to get to know the real you. So be patient. Um... And I know, you know, you've got the fool here and we dub him the fool, but really it is his journey. The tarot uh, deck is his journey. And as he goes through this journey, he becomes the most enlightened and the most wisest of them all. It's all a journey. Everything that you have been going through, um, the good and the bad have all been experiences. And it feels like you needed to get, you needed to go through everything to get to this person. Or to get to this particular point in time. And even if this person hasn't shown up in your life just yet, be patient. I do feel like there may be some healing that might still need to take place. There may be some emotional wounds or past wounds that you might have dressed them up. But it feels like they need a little bit longer to heal. Um, I think this person that is coming into your life or this person that has shown up is going to help you with that, is going to help you heal, is going to help, and there's something about their energy that feels quite healing. When you start doing the work, the work starts working on you, that's when the healing starts, you know, the healing takes place, so whatever it is that you need to do to, to heal this past wound, and sometimes healing yourself means connecting with others, especially with others who recognize your pain, who recognize what it is that you've been going through. And it's just, and just a reminder that healing is messy, he healing is ugly, and healing takes time. All right, guys, I am going to leave the messages there. Um, thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. I do appreciate it. Thank you for your patience. Um, if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel to grow. Um, so please hit the subscribe button. 
Um, otherwise, thanks guys again, and I will catch up with you later. Bye for now.